Okay. All right. Greetings. Thank you for stopping by here on TikTok Live at Bloom from and Thin Love. For those of you that are coming in love and light, high vibes and positivities. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. You all are a part of my why. If you are a decent mofo. Oh, man. What happened? Oh, man. If you're a decent mofo. <laughs> Anyways, really quick. I hope y'all doing good and doing well. But I just wanted to throw this thought out into the universe, into the TikTok world as well. Have you guys ever wondered? Listen, and no, this is not something that has recently happened to me um but it is a question that i'm finding fascinating and it's something for you all to kind of dig into and look at right especially those of us who come from traditional backgrounds right now have you ever experienced things just out and about in life uh whether it is you're at work or you're at a government agency or you're just taking care of business running errands or in some cases where people do something nice for you. Oh, they do something nice for you. Out of their own guidance, by the way. Not because, you know, you forced their hand or you necessarily went to them per se. But let's say they just wanted to do something nice. And in some cases, maybe you did go to them, right? But now just play with this. Why is it offensive? I just want... To like throw the question out there, like, why do people be offended if, like, when they people would be like, I want, I'm gonna pray for you, I want to pray for you, I want, can I, can I pray for you? You know, after they give you your bowl of beans or your burrito, or you know, what I'm saying, or whatever, okay? Can I pray? <laughs> can I pray for you? You know, I just, I, I would like to pray for you. I just feel led could just to pray for you do you let me can i pray for you now listen if if it's said respectfully right because that that's coming off as at least somebody got the decency to fucking ask okay because like you're a person before you're just gonna intrude so at least they have the decency to ask you because you're a whole being right um, but why, why is it offensive if you were to say no? It, let's say you politely said no, not being rude or, you know, grumpy. Let's say just as politely as they asked, you politely declined. Have you ever wondered why is that? Because haven't you noticed like usually these kinds of people, there's, you can sense like there's an there they took they took offense they're offended right because the truth is in some cases whatever niceties that they were doing that's what it was connected to so you know i gave you this bowl of beans how dare you not at least let me pray for you right fuck your feelings and you may be sensitive to you don't like people touching you you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. All these things that humans need to expand and understand that individuals are individuals. They may not want you touching them. For whatever reason, whether you think it's because of this or that, they may be sensitive to energy and they may just not want your prayer. But why? Why is it offensive? See, this is I'm sharing this to get us in this energy of realizing like these are clues. These are clues for us. To realize that maybe there's something not quite as wholesome as it seemed. Because if you came, if you match their energy, what I'm saying is if it was a respectful exchange. And even if, let's say you showed gratitude. Okay, if somebody does something nice, right? What is the, the norms on if someone does something nice or kind? You're to show their gratitude. But showing gratitude should not have to be that you allow a personal boundary that you're not okay with to be intruded upon because in exchange for these bowl of beans. So my gratitude has to be I sacrifice myself 
and my boundary in order to show you that I am grateful for the tater chips. If I'm not comfortable, I'm supposed to make myself uncomfortable so that you can feel like I'm being grateful. My sincere thank you and, and, and you know, for your kindness and, you know, whatever other closing words or whatever is not sufficient. So it's then the, the kindness was t it was tied to something, which I'm not going to debate whether, you know, I get it. But what I'm really looking at is why is it offensive? Now, if the person, if their no was kind of raunchy, let's say like if a person say, can I pray for you? I, was, I just would like to pray for you. I really feel that of the Lord to really just pray for you, right? Can I pray for you? And let's say the person that responded, let's say they were disrespectful, right? I'm trying to be fair here. Let's say the person was like, hell no, get the hell away. You know, woo -de woo ain't nobody. Like, now, if the person responded that way, that's uncalled for. Okay? It's especially if somebody was being kind to you. So, of course, then that's uncalled for. You don't have to be... Um, we don't have to be abrasive. We don't have to be disrespectful to them either. So I'm, I'm trying to play devil's advocate to be fair. If, if the no, if that no is coming off like, uh, rolling of the eyes and hell no, and whoop de boo and yada yada and, and so forth. That's lacking social skills. That's being disrespectful to someone in their beliefs and to someone that was trying to show kindness, right? All I'm really saying is for us to start questioning why does people having boundaries have to be considered offensive, so offensive? Why is someone's no something to be make a deal of and then like well hmm ain't nobody gonna give you no tater chips no more ain't nobody gonna give you no bowl of beans no more ain't nobody gonna you know what i'm saying do this no more see well good because it was a reveal there was an attachment to it right and this is when we'll discover the truth because let me tell y'all something once upon a time i was on a religious path an organized religious path i was eyeballs deep probably deeper than people know that's why I say a lot of people assume and they ain't understand it. But let me tell you something. Even when I was on that path wholeheartedly, because I was sincere and was coming from a, the good spaces. Okay. I can recall because what you're taught to do, right? You're out and about, you're doing shit. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to do shit. You're supposed to feed the people and do, you know, help people and shit. Okay, so that was me. That's always been me, though, even before I had somebody in a book telling me that should have been me. Yes. Yes. That was me. Okay. But as I, you know, embarked on the, the religious path, you know, so I was trying to be like, you're supposed to be going out and about in the, you know, you're supposed to go into the byways and, the, you know, do the stuff. There was times, you know, when I would feel nervous and scared and you're taught you got to be led. You got to be led, you know. And I would ask, is it okay? You know, and there was some times, listen, there were times when I was politely told no. And there was times when I was rudely told no. So I experienced, you know, both versions of this. The times when people politely told me no, I respected it. Okay? Even though we were taught like, oh, it was all the demons. You know, what we were taught in that, you know, that arena is like, oh, it was all the devils that was on them, honey child. All them devils, girl. And we really feel powerful when we talk like that. Yeah, it was all them devils on them, honey, that did not want you touching them. They recognized the anointments that was upon thee. 
I didn't take it that way back then, though. Even though that teaching, I came from that teaching, I kind of just took it like, hey, I don't know what they've gone through. People have gone through real shit. People have been traumatized. People have been violated. You know, people have other things there. And so I didn't take it that way, even though that was the teaching that I came from. Okay. Um, so when they politely turned me down, I was like, oh, you know, I probably said something like, bless you. Because, you know, I was still polite back then. It was like, okay, oh, oh okay. Okay, bless you and so forth. You, you know. But I wasn't like, mm. It's like, well, then what you was over there for? You shouldn't have even been saying that because now you're over here tripping. Or on some ego trip. Yeah, they said, they, yeah. All them devils was on them. They didn't want, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> People have real personal issues. For all we be knowing, see, and I'm glad I had that attitude back then. Because for all you know, this person could have been physically assaulted. Or they could have had traumas and all sorts of things that we don't be educated about. And we just want to intrude. I mean, just, I just, you know, let you just what? Why, why does this stuff have to be so offensive if everybody is exchanging respectfully? No is not a cuss word. If someone respectfully replies or responds to a request, why is that offensive? We need to check that. It almost feels like it's manipulation. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I don't like that coercion, the spiritual manipulation and coercion. So I can't get support and help unless I want to be a part of whatever you're doing. If I, out of my free will to have a different view than you, or just for whatever reason, maybe I don't like being touched by strangers. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Just because you say you are of God. There's 1,200,000 bazillion people walking around saying the same shit some people have been traumatized at the hand of these types of people and just because you're coming in there with taco bell and a smile is not going to change that the other motherfuckers have probably had some taco bell and a smile we need to be mindful of that kind of stuff. Why is it offensive? We need to understand it's our ego. It's ego. I don't care what nobody say. It's ego. No, it's not a cuss word. It's not personal if someone tells us no. And unless they're doing it in in a very irate, belligerent, disrespectful manner, we need to understand that no, it's not a cuss word. People don't have to like our prayer, want our prayer. They don't have to, you know, agree to our mindset or our beliefs or our ways. They don't have to want all that we're selling. If we're operating from kindness, we should leave it at that. Just operate from kindness. Then be kind. If that's what you're saying you're doing. If you're saying you're being led by something, understand that you're being led. is not an automatic that that person should have to receive anything or allow they are a whole separate person from you and if they don't want you touching them they have a right to not want you touching them if they want to say no thank you they have a right to say no thank you and they can still be showing you gratitude okay 
people people got this whole thing with gratitude mixed up oh they ungrateful they're un no they're not ungrateful people shouldn't have to sacrifice them in order to be supported or helped they shouldn't have to sacrifice their boundaries that's not ungrateful okay ungrateful is just taking 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 showing no thanks right having an entitlement But gratitude has nothing to do with people having boundaries. Okay, just think about that. Why is this so offensive? 